Well, are back with me. I've got political commentator Dominique Samuels. I've got former Conservative Mayor of London candidate Sean Bailey. And I've also got author and broadcaster Amy Nickell. Right, OK, so breaking tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the head of the school's regulator Ofsted, Amanda Spielman, has warned that children are being taught sex education lessons that have no basis in any reputable scientific biological explanation, which will probably be a problem if it is actually being taught to kids, which it is. It comes after MPs and parents raise the alarm over lessons being taught on 100 genders and instructions on how to do oral and anal sex and apparently even how to choke your partner safely. They're just kids. Anyway, a damning Telegraph investigation this weekend revealed some schools have been warping the minds of youngsters with exactly this. Rishi Sunak has now pledged to clamp down on the depravity. The PM has ordered an urgent review of sex education in light of these warp revelations and pledged to clean up the filth in our classrooms. Tory MP Miriam Cates led the charge of concerned MPs in Parliament by disturbingly revealing some kids are, as I've just said there, being taught how to choke their partner safely. Watch this. Graphic lessons on oral sex, how to choke your partner safely, and 72 genders. This is what passes for relationships and sex education in British schools. Across the country, children are being subjected to lessons that are age-inappropriate, extreme, sexualising and inaccurate. Will my right honourable friend honour his commitment to end inappropriate sex education by commissioning an independent inquiry into the nature and extent of this safeguarding scandal. Uh, as a result of all of this, we are bringing forward a review of RSHE statutory guidance and we'll, cons and we'll start our consultation as soon as possible. Well, last night, Miriam Cates warned the Department for Education guidance produced in 2019 with the help of the LGBT charity Stonewall had allowed activist groups to influence teaching material in schools. So, I'll start with you, Dominique. Has lefty activism fueled this inappropriate content polluting our classrooms? 100%. And the government, I think, has completely capitulated and just lost interest in all of this, which is why so much of this madness is going on. Now, it's funny we're actually talking about this because later today um, I got a really weird email, really concerning, um, and this was from a parent, a concerned parent, that said her five-year-old daughter came home from school yesterday explaining how they were taught to give massages during an English lesson. Um, the pupil who's performing the massage must first say, can I touch you please or please can I touch you now this is a year one pupil right. and these are some of the weird concerning things that are actually going on in our schools where I think teachers are really taking a, a really inappropriate place in terms of controlling um, these sorts of important conversations that really should be reserved for the parents. Yeah, so do you think in terms of that there and I agree with you that is really weird but do you think what might have happened is something that's going on in a wider school's context, which is teachers think they're trying to do a good thing about consent and being inclusive and all of this. And the reality, Amy, is that actually they just mess that up sometimes and it ends up being deeply inappropriate. Yeah, and we also don't know how that information was relayed to that parent and the, the perception of that parent and how they interpret it themselves. Well, so she I think did it probably was. With the school, um, but the, and that the, was the, the key on. part about all RSC education in the UK is that it has to be put on a portal, the parents' portal, so the parent can access it at any time so you can see exactly what your child is learning. And the fact that this is urgently being reviewed, well, it was due to be reviewed anyway, so he's just changing the language around it. The fact is that if anything is polluting the minds of children at the moment, it is 100% pornography, mm. which is why RSC practitioners have had to change the way that that they teach to include slightly more what you call, I don't know, after-hours content, graphic, really graphic, graphic, graphic yeah. content, because, unfortunately, that's what children are seeing. 93% of 11-year-olds have seen pornography. Your child, if they're over 11, has probably seen that's pornography. True. So that needs to be yes, described in an age-appropriate way yeah, so that they don't use it in later life. And if we talk about the adults, the parents, two-thirds of women who are sexually active at the moment, have been choked without consent. OK. Because All of that is true, but then again, when you're actually looking at who they're having these conversations with, a lot of the time it also includes primary school pupils. No, it's all completely... No, come yes. on, I'll let Sean... Let's 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 hold on, let's hold on. Can I just come in? Just come in. to that? Because no primary school child is not being true. taught about choking. It's not true. Hold on, hold on. Sean, come on, Sean, Sean. 
Amy's missing the fact that this is nationwide, so lots of people will be doing a slightly different interpretation of what's going on. So you can't categorically say it's not being taught to primary I school can. children. The problem we have here is the over-sexualisation of our children. And Amy's 100% right. Pornography mm. is, is the devil here, but the response of the education department has been muddled. It has been influenced by groups with absolutely no balance at all. And, it, <laughs> and it's led to the fact that we are now confusing our children and teachers. And in the defence of teachers, teachers are afraid to speak out. Because if they look at something, well, this is inappropriate, but it came from yeah. the Department of Education, they, they get removed from their jobs, they get vilified. Okay. So, don't if you say want to think about things being detached from reality, what Miriam Kate said today was detached from reality. What, afraid what, what, because, what, what? Okay. Okay, what, what, so what, what, the 73 gender thing was based on an anecdote in a tabloid newspaper. The choking thing was parent. based on a sex positive but blogger, are, which was out. never, parents. which was never in the lesson. But parents the things are, that were out. accurate was yes, 14 to 19 year olds. They are taught about oral sex. They are taught about other forms of sex because that's what they're having. Well, Listen, it look, talks the about 12 year olds is, being right, asked how they feel dominate. about oral and anal sex. sex. And this thing about genders, OK, you can't just say that's not true because it was even a breaking story um, this week about an Isle of Man school having to suspend that sex was education. The, the school after they said invited, it was untrue. If they it was a parent's look, the, the bottom line is what their child the, looked at. Okay, the, so the, the bottom line is... Happen, no, it didn't happen. Listen, the, the, the school stop it. is saying it didn't happen. The anyway. bottom line is Why this. Why suspend it, then? The bottom line is this. The advice is poor and, mi and, mi and mixed and muddled. Okay. And we are over-sexualising our children. If we really want to get up, make our children safe, the mm -hmm. first response would be to do something about the level of porn they're exposed to. Okay. That would be so, we can all, so, we can, so we can agree that basically kids shouldn't be watching porn, right? So that's a point but of agreement. Can I say something about RSE education? Very Since quickly. Since it has come in, there's been an 80% decrease in teenage pregnancy and a massive No, decrease that's simply in... not true. That's nonsense. They started working what on... What can I do with that? Yeah, I'll tell you what you could do that. We started working on teenage pregnancy over 20 years ago. It wasn't just now. Yeah, and RSE came in pregnancy. probably about 20 years no, ago. No, it did not. Since not in the form it is now. RSC and teaching 12 year olds about oral and anal sex as, as reduced that simply isn't true, it's not fair. Not, well, it's not it fair to say. Should we have should we have people whose singular job it is to be in school sex education we do have teacher? That. No, but just just specifically that, because I was yes. taught sex education by a bloke who I won't and, name and something... who was wearing socks and sandals and looked like he'd never but touched that's a woman in his life. Completely changed it. We now use mainly Might explain ex a lot external people. practitioners who are brought in, who are government approved, who are providing these services no, it's solely. Teachers. So again, no, it's not. Again, if you, when you use okay. when you use themselves. when you use hundreds of external bodies and the teachers are disempowered, you will get a range of things taught. That's why you get so many anecdotes in the paper of of wild things being taught. Can the I, bottom line is the Department this, of Education need to get well, hold of this. Can I just put this out there? Why isn't this just this job of parents? Exactly. I've just said to and you, two-thirds is... of women are getting non-consensually choked. Parents don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, but the oh, point really? is this. It's the, yeah. ide it's the <laughs> ideological part. That's the point. Where teachers are, are, are emasculated is, is that all these ideologies are being taught and nobody can say anything. Yes, they put it on a school website, but you can't say no as a parent. And that's the problem. I We've taken over with, the role exactly. of parents. With respect, when we look at how the younger generation coming through now is turning out... I think a lot of them are incredibly weird. Whatever we're doing in schools, I don't that's think is working. That's pornography. That's the results of... It's that's both. the results of it's mass consumption of pornography. And also, right, time, would you want to give... Would you, sorry. No. Would you want to have a conversation with your mother about some of the subjects we've just discussed? Yes. But no, I don't think you, you don't, necessarily you need wouldn't. to go that far. You, know? <laughs> you should... You should, you should, let's be clear, this idea that you can't speak to your parents about difficult things is nonsense. It's what people mm. peddle in order to take over the ideology of things and then force things down our children's minds that are not good for them. The reality but what is I will say, though, by porn I just, right I just want to, I just want to mm. circle back where Amy is completely right. The level of access that our young people have to porn mm. is appalling and that's what we should be focusing on. Dominic, Thank is it you. so, it's just, just one final word to you. Is it so difficult? to have a very basic level of sex education in school, so just the basic stuff, yeah. and then parents at home say things to their kid like, don't choke a woman, un you know, without... At all. Yeah. Don't yeah. choke a woman well, at, at all, all, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember a form of <laughs> sex education that I had, and I don't remember being particularly... Uh, traumatised by no. it, but I also don't remember being taught that there are 72 genders no. yeah. which, as fact. Which isn't happening. Yeah. It's like, you can't say it's not happening, happening because it is yeah. happening in the, some the, schools. So it, it, might was, not it was happening alleged to happen right. in one in school and the one. school there are multiple, categorically there said it didn't happen. There are multiple schools where it's happening look, and you can see... Look, the fact... I, no, so, Sean, let me finish. Oh. You can see
see examples in it in the homework and things like that that are, they've been brought home with children. Okay. Being taught about extreme porn and stuff. It's happening. All right. They're well, watching extreme porn. All right. That's we're drawing a line under it. We're drawing a line under it, ladies and gentlemen. So coming up though, my superstar panel. We have